Guys, my aunt Salud, who lives here in Tuguegarao, Sist older sister of my mom. She wants to show me some spiders. Where? Where are these spiders? Where? Oh my! I've never been to this part of the hill. Oh my gosh! Holy! Oh my god! I've never seen a spider that big here in Philippines. My boy squad, check this out. OMG, my boy squad. You know what that is? That's a huntsman. <gasps> I've never seen one this big here in Philippines. Oh my gosh, like it's huge. It, that's gotta be like a four inch leg span. Seriously, like I'm afraid to put my finger near it. It's huge guys. Basically, look at the toothbrush and look at the spider. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my gosh, that's normal here. Tita, that spider. The other, the other day, I want to kill that. And then you weren't able to catch it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, maybe I can bring it home to Manila. <laughs> How do we catch it? OMG, I don't even know what to feed it. Does it eat mice? Like seriously, it's huge. Oh my. It will jump. Is it? It's so big. Do I want to take it? Yes, but how? I'm afraid, like I'm afraid of getting bit by it. I didn't know we had huntsmen that big in the Philippines. That is huge. We need to find a bottle. OMG, we're going to try to catch it. I'm afraid to put it over. Oh, oh my god! Yan! Yeah. It is huge! Okay, Boom. does anyone have a cardboard? I'll use this ice cream top. There. No, it works, it works. Okay, got it, got it, got it. OMG, I got it. It's not as fast as I thought it would be. Oh my god. Wow! This thing is massive! I never saw it. Bring it outside, bring it outside! Let's go, let's go show the family. <gasps> wow! Look at how huge that huntsman it is. Hey, I know, I have, to, I have to poke holes. It can, I know. OMG, Mabuhay Squad, we caught it. Oh my god! Look, Mabuhay Squad. Look at the size of that spider. Tita, look at the spider. Where did you get that? From the kitchen. I did, I caught it. Who got that? Ako. Yes. She did. I was scared. Look, sisters. The spider. Oh, wow. And this is the Spider Man. And this is the spider. Well, more like Ant Man, but yes. Over here. <laughs> Big. It's a huntsman. Like, I thought these only existed in Australia. Seriously. Wow, it is so big. Some of those spiders are bigger than that. You mean they grow bigger than this? Yes. Thank you so much for the great food. They're shy. They asked about the vlogs. Yes. Now you're in the vlog. <laughs> they, they helped cater all of this. And what? look what I just found. How do you guys have this and I don't? They have it here in Tugegarao. That's me. That's like a collectible item now. Oh my gosh, guys. We spent the past half hour taking pictures. They're all taking pictures. A million pictures. Okay, let's do it. My videos are playing. All right, as much as I would love to take this beautiful specimen back with me to Manila, possibly even film an Ants Canada video with her, I will not. Why? Because she's 12 hours away from Manila and this is her natural home and I don't want to take her out of it. I'm gonna let her go maybe here <laughs> in the dark where she can get away. Here you go spider. You're actually gorgeous even though you're a bit scary. Go! Okay, I will just leave this here. Go! I'm uh, trying to let it go. Okay, maybe this spider wants to escape near a plant. Here you go, escape on this plant. Oh my gosh, this spider's stubborn. Come on, I'm giving you freedom. They would have killed you in that kitchen. Yes, go, 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 go. There you go, it's running free, there it is. See? Go be free, proliferate, and fulfill your purpose of eating insects here in the rainforest. We're back home. And she fully went back, like I let her out on this bed, on her bed, but she fully went back into the perch and go. Why? Why? You like this perch and go, huh? Yes. The guy is totally ready for bed. She had such a long, enriching, and like adventurous day. Seriously. She like literally crawled into this perch and go and was like, all right, this is where I'm retiring. I know the deal. <laughs> And of course, as always, covering 
her perch and go with a nice comfortable red blanket it's a youtube blanket actually that's why it's red she loves this blanket her favorite color giving herself a last grooming before going to bed and tonight you're gonna go to bed on that perch because every time you sleep you wake up with poo all over you so this time you're gonna try to sleep the whole night like a big bird on this perch okay i know you can do it as much as i love watching you sleeping on your belly it's the cutest thing ever it's time to learn to sleep on a perch like a big bird Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes. Up bright and early. Checking out of the hotel now. There's RJ. And look who's got her harness on. Yes. This, this time it was a lot easier to put on. She's still not 100% comfortable in it. Like she picks at it a lot. She's just not used to like having straps on her like breast part and on her back. On sho around her shoulders, but like I just try when it's on, I just try to like get moving and like bring her out, stimulate her so that she associates putting on the harness with like outdoor time, fun time, right? I'd like to thank Hotel Ivory for um, having us here in Togegerao for sponsoring our stay as well. Really chill, right? Look where we are, Ligaya. Aren't you gonna miss Togegerao? It was such an adventure yesterday, right? My mom's hometown. Oh, wow, look at this water lettuce. Water lettuce. Oh, it's so big and healthy. Look at this water feature, Ligaya. Isn't it cool? Makes you wanna drink some, right? Now, this morning, Ligaya like, got up and fully started flying again around the room, like in circles. She flew to the curtain. Of course, I had a mini heart attack, but I feel like she's getting better and better at flying now. Like moving around. That one minor injury a couple days ago really made her more conscious about where she was flying, softer landings and that sort of thing. Gaia, I'm so proud of you. You're just progressing so well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I get a kiss? Hey Gaia, a kiss? She's like, the world is so stimulating. I don't want to kiss you. Here, kiss. 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 Thank you. Took you long enough. Legaya, look at your new perch. See it, it's so beautiful. And it's got guava fruit on it, so you could pick at it and guava leaves. By the way, that little injury on her beak is healed now. She's totally okay. The distraction continues. Have some water, Legaya. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And a plastic blue bottle cap. Oh, distractions, distractions. Don't think about that thing around your neck. Ligaya, good girl. Yes. Uh huh. Look at the traffic. Isn't the traffic very interesting? Look at this. Look at the tricycle. Seriously, these people cannot fly like you. So they need vehicles to get around. I think she's forgotten about the harness. Crazy, right? All right, Nagaya, come. Oh, yes. So guys, checking my aunt into a hotel. There's the van. Um, my aunt's gonna stay here and the sisters will also stay here for a few days longer. But we have to head back to Manila because we got work to do, yes. But to get get out city, my mom's hometown here in the Philippines has been pretty amazing. And I loved spending it with Ligaya too. For those of you who are just joining us, the reason why we're here is because we had to attend, well, my aunt had to attend a church event. It's quite far. She traveled from Toronto, Canada to attend this event. And then um, also we had to celebrate my aunt's birthday my Tita Salud, who lives here in uh, Togegero City. And also, I wanted to visit our ancestral farm, which we saw yesterday. Not exactly what I expected. All I saw was corn. But hey, if ever I need farmland to build the Mabuhay Squad farm, it's there. Certain challenges, by the way, about the farm is that it's in the floodplains. So when it typhoons or when it rains heavily, that entire area is flooded. The only crops you can grow there really are 
corn and rice and it's got to be planted at a certain schedule at a certain time so that's one challenge and i was thinking okay what can i do there oh let's have a water buffalo breeding facility there you know what i mean um but who knows i mean that i thought it was like a farm with a house and like different crops no it's like one massive massive plot of land so i don't know i'll have to think about that still but now we're going to visit again Tita Salut's place to just hang out before heading back to manila mm -hmm. bigarao city is such a beautiful rural town i love it look at all these tropical plants here just gorgeous gorgeous all these tricycles all around the guy is cool around them she's chill and here's the home of my my family the home my mom and aunt and all my aunts and uncles my grandparents grew up this is where the party was yesterday and look it's your boyfriend look at him he's like oh I'm G. yes it's your boyfriend, Ligaya. See? Guys, I'd like you to meet my uncle Manuel. Magandang umaga po. This is my mom and aunt's brother. Mm -hmm. Also lives here in Tugegirao. One of the two siblings that didn't migrate to Canada. So guys, we're having breakfast, but a total electricity power out. It's called a brown out here in the Philippines. It's not called a black out. So they've got um, power generated lights ready. It happens here frequently in the Philippines and in the province. Like when I stayed here for like a month, it happened pretty much a few times a week. <laughs> Thank you, Tita Salud. Oh. Ew, RJ, why? <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I ate it with Milo and rice. Yeah. Guys, Milo and rice. You guys know Milo? It's like Ovaltine. It's like chocolate. I like it. And you mix it with rice and that's how you eat it? Mm. Yeah, me too. Hi. Yeah, I you. Mm. Not sure. So funny, I was watching my Ate Elsie drinking from this mug and it's like my cousins from Toronto. You see? These are the kind of things we put in the Balik Bayan box <laughs> when we send it to our relatives here in the province. See, just tons of Canadian gear. Thank you. Salamat, Tito. Salud. Bye, Ate Churito. Bye, Uncle Manuel. I'll see you when I get home. Okay. Bye, Tita. Okay, thanks a lot to all of you. Enjoy. Thanks a lot to all of you. So my aunt is going to stay here. I wish I could stay, but we have work to do in Manila. Like Ants Canada, got to perform as well for a certain something, which is coming up. And all that fun stuff. Will the journey back to Manila be the same? Because we're traveling through the day, it's, it's harder, happy, right? Yeah. So it'll take longer. Maybe 10, 11 hours. 10, 11 hour drive to Manila. Isn't that crazy? The island of Luzon is huge. Don't Just because it's an island doesn't mean it's small. It's a 10 hour drive. That's like driving from Toronto to like, I don't know, like Sudbury. Or like from Toronto to Florida or something. Good morning, sister. Hello, how are you? Yes, very well. How did you spend the night? Oh, just slept. <laughs> sister is coming back with us to Manila. Yes, I got a super car. <laughs> Before the typhoon breaks. <laughs> Correct, guys. A typhoon is headed this way. Okay, maybe not Toronto to Florida, but Toronto to Kentucky is nine hours and 30 minutes. Don't bite my phone. Ah, she's grooming my ear. <laughs> and it tickles. The guy. Oh. Are you getting the dirt in there? <laughs> Does it taste waxy? She's really grooming me. I guess this is a sign of parrot affection. Go ahead, groom. Groom the lobes. Yeah, the monkey. Get in there. Get in this. Hard to get rich spaces. Ooh, oh, oh. Someone sleepy. Sleep. Sleep. We've got a long drive to go, the guy, yeah? Mm hmm. Nah, yeah. You're gonna miss the gig it out. She's in a very chatty mood all of a sudden. You wanna sing? Hmm? What do you wanna sing? What? Singing mood? Hmm? 
What? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> B. Oh. Guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Cherie, and we provide service. So, bonjour, hot odeurs, why we only live to serve. <laughs> no one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. I tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. The dinner here is never second best. Come on and fold your men, you'll take a glance and then you'll be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest. <laughs> How about... I know you, I've walked with you once upon a dream. I know you, the gleam in your eyes is so familiar gleam. And I Visions are seldom all they seem But if I know you, I'll know what you do You'll love me at once the way you did once upon the dream Yes! You like that song? Tale as old as time, true as it can be, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly, just a little pain, small to say the least, both a little scared. Neither one prepared Beauty and the Beast Which one are you? Beauty or the Beast? Oops! <laughs> Tale as old as time Song as old as rhyme Beauty and the Beast Slap those wings! Slap those wings! Flap those, flap those, flap those wings. What? You're getting so good at climbing, seriously. Don't tell me. Okay, I thought she was gonna groom me again. You're so active. Oh, she wants, what? You want me to pet your neck? Isn't it amazing out there? It's a crazy world. What? What do you want me to do? Step up? Oh, scratch your neck. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> when she wants her neck scratch, she just goes. Mm. Yes. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, you're getting, I'm getting a little crazy now. To keep her distracted, in a good way, we picked off one of the guava leaves from her perch, her live perch. And she likes it. It seems she likes breaking it up with her beak. You've got a whole perch full of these leaves and fruits. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to show you. Guys, she's really loving this leaf. Guava apparently is parrot safe. Don't worry, I checked, of course. This here is our local species of guava. Mmm, fresh. Since you liked it so much, look at Ate Elsie picked you the whole thing and there's fruit on it. See the fruit? Very natural thing for them to do. See? Mmm. Very good. That's guava. Guys, she even ate the guava. Wow. She really loves this guava. I love that she's eating the whole fruit. And like this was literally picked yesterday. So it's fresh. Mmm, isn't that guava tasty? Yes. Mmm. And I think she's even eating the seeds. Like how much truer to 
wild behaviors can you get? Seriously. She's loving it. I love this enrichment activity for her. I wish we had more access to like fresh fruit like this, like directly off the branch in Manila. Cause I would provide that for her. See what I can do. Man, you're just tearing up that guava. Look at you. You've mastered that guava. Yeah, she started eating the leaves. I love that she eats the leaves too. She likes she likes veggies and fruits. This is how parrots are supposed to eat. You look at her popping those seeds too. You like the guava seeds? <laughs> Wow, guys, so look at all this water just flowing from like every hose. Now, you might think that's a waste of water. Like in the Philippines, that would be considered a huge waste of water. But that's water flowing from the mountains. So it's free. <gasps> Mountain fresh water. How awesome. We're now in the province called Nueva Vizcaya. It's like mountainous, like thick jungle. Oh, it's Beautiful terrain. Guys, so get this. We're now at a Hello Kitty Cafe. What is a Hello Kitty Cafe doing here? <laughs> OMG! Interesting, interesting, interesting. Even the table, yeah. This is so funny. OMG, the food. Oh, look at the delicious food. <gasps> Lechon kowali, calamari. Spicy chicken, lumpia Shanghai, and that fish. 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 OMG, this looks so good, guys. Oh my, there's so much. There's a oh, the shrimp, butter shrimp. Shrimp, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they got work to do. Okay, so here's calamari. Dip it in the vinegar. Mmm. 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 Let's try the lechon kawali. No mm. rice. No rice for me. He doesn't eat rice. No rice for me. <laughs> Lumbia Shanghai. It's like a spring roll fried. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, the Lumpia Shanghai is delicious. Thank you. Ubi makapano. Oh my gosh. Purple yam, and coconut. Mm. With pearls. <laughs> OMG. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is filling me up right now. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <gasps> and they're playing 90s music. I love this place. 90s music. You got to be free. Whoa. Oh my god. Mm. For all you millennials who don't remember the 90s, I'm so sorry. My condolences. Every 7 p.m. we have only like one. I missed a patch of hair. It's another channel. It's another channel. Food here is so good. And I can't get over this. Shake. Mm. Purple yam. So delicious. Let's see how fresh it is. Here, guys. Shrimp. This one is butter. It's dry shrimp. Mmm. 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 Slightly spicy thing. Mmm, garlicky. 
shrimpish. Mm. Food here at Hello Kitty is really great. Mm -hmm. Who would have ever thought we'd have a Hello Kitty cafe out here in the province? Let's sample their fish. I think it's catfish, but like breaded. Mm. Mm. Tender, not fishy tasting. I can't get enough of this right here. Guys, these egg rolls though, the Lumpia Shanghai. If you go to a Filipino party, they will have these. Don't wait, grab one of these. You have to have it while it's hot and crispy. Mm. Mm. And if they made it like me and my Lola, we would do it with our hands with love. It's like reality. Reality. You roll it. Mm -hmm. Stick it in the fryer. S smells and tastes so good. Mm -mm -mm. OMG, the music. Do you hear it, guys? High school days. Going to high school dances. <laughs> Awkward years. Awkward. Know what I'm saying? Things will be alright. TLC, masarap bang pagkain dito? Masarap. How did you find the food, sister? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's delicious. Yeah, it's very good. And the restaurant is very colorful. Yeah. Everything's pink. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a cafe without yeah. topping it off with coffee. They had quite the selection of coffee. That's good coffee. <gasps> that tasted. Mmm. Oh, the taste of that roast is delicious. Guys, I'd like you to meet the staff. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for the delicious food. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes. You're so chatty. Let me guess, you like Wendy Williams too. I know, I'm happy she's back as well. I know, how you doing? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're so chatty. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, I just hear her jerp, gerbling it. No, oh my gosh. Did she really say it? Did you hear it? Wow, wow, wow. I swear I heard her say it. Soon you'll be talking, I feel it. Wow, wow, wow. Look how attentive she is. Look at that intelligence. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so she's throwing a fit every time I pay attention to my cell phone. <laughs> she's like throwing shade at me. No? You don't want to watch it no more? Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So what does he want? What is it? I'm putting the cell phone away. You should have seen earlier. She like screamed at my cell phone. How about some guava? Would you like some guava? More guava? What is it you want? Next scratch. Okay. What if I stop neck scratching? She wants more neck. Okay, okay. I'll give you more neck scratches. Okay. What if I stop neck scratching? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, the guy? Are you laughing at me?
What an interesting location by the mountain. <gasps> OMG! RJ, do you see what I see? What? Over there! Oh, guys, 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 stop the car. Stop the car. OMG, my boy, Scott, check this out. 